Here we go with the completion of round one. A question for Donald Boyd. Everybody plays, and this is it, folks. Yes. In the middle of the night, yes. when no one was looking, yes. Jane yes. ate Tarzan's blank. <laughs> Sit up straight here. <laughs> oh, do I dare? No, you can't. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, I just gotta look at it there. It's my show, I can look at it if I want to. But it's my card. Oh, all right. All right, everybody ready over here is okay. Now, Donald, in the middle of the night, when no one was looking, Jane ate Tarzan's blank. Banana. Banana. <laughs> All right, Orson. She ate his banana in the middle of the night. Yes. What do you say to that? I think that if Donald hadn't said it, the crowd could have turned surly very easily. <laughs> <laughs> I ever saw a popular decision. <laughs> he had a wrestle cheetah to the ground for it, but he did eat Tarzan's brain. Okay. Brett? Yes, dear. Uh, would you show us your oh, card, I'd my dear? Oh, I'd love to. I was it's thinking time. about fruit and, and peppercorns and things like that. I sit... Oh, <laughs> loincloth. He'd hung it on a tree. <laughs> Jane ate Tarzan's loincloth. Yeah, oh, she was a she was a cloth freak. I see. Okay, I guess she was pretty hungry too, Charles. If she's a cloth freak. Where does that leave you? <laughs> Moving on. No, Yule Gibbons would have said vine. <laughs> Eight is vine. Yule Gibbons would have said is eight is Gibbons? vine. Now, are you ready to show and tell, Marianne? Suddenly, it's not. Uh... She ate his vine. His vine. Okay. And his Must vines have, have a, tender grapes. Not a lot of nourishment <laughs> in there. That's right. Richard? What is it, Richard? Richard. Uh, I beg your pardon? <laughs> Those quick naps are marvelous. <laughs> I happen to know that Jane did eat that uh, particular piece of fruit and then departed. Hence the expression, banana split. <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, oh, Betty. Sure. How are you? Jean, I'm fine. Look. Yes. No, now, now, would I lead you down the garden path? Yes, you would. She ate, well, I would, but I didn't this time. She ate his banana. Okay. <laughs> well, the score is three to two at this moment in favor of the current champ, and we'll go to round two and ask Linda to make a decision. A, please. <laughs> a, here we go. Oh, Last time, Linda, you matched Orson. <laughs> and Richard, so the two of you gentlemen will not participate. Murray asked his wife why she had a bag of garlic hanging around her neck, and she said to keep blank away. So I cut kind of along, I better do it again for you. Murray asked his wife why she had a bag of garlic hanging around her neck, and she said to keep blank away. All right, everybody's ready up here. And I guess we're all set down here. Okay. Now, Linda, Murray asked his wife why she had a bag of garlic around her neck, and she said, to keep blank away. To keep you away. You. Yeah. Keep you. She didn't want him hanging around her. That's right. Keep who away? You. Murray. You. Her That's answer you is and you. And you. You. And you. And you. And you'll give us. How and about you? you? But what? not me. But not you. I said to keep colds away. To keep colds away? It's that's, an old, no. That's right, it's an old yeah. European oh, remedy. You, Welcome to days. Transylvania. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna miss Charles? Me. I said your mother away. <laughs> to keep your mother <laughs> away. Mother was no match there. What did you say, my dear? Well, everyone knows it's to keep evil spirits away. Evil spirits. Uh oh, Linda. We're getting close to the end here. You must match Betty to stay in the game, Betty. Everyone knows it's to keep you away. You. <laughs> And as we go to the second half of our second and final round, I point out to Donald, one match for you will win the game, and here it is. When Gunga Rama left India, he built... Gunga Rama. Gunga Rama. Tell me, Gunga Rama. You all know Gunga Rama. Cinerama's sister. That's right. 
That wasn't even a good one. Anyway, when Gunga Rama left India, he built a special suitcase so he could bring along his blank. What? I'm with you. Hey, I'll read it for the audience. Now listen carefully, oh, audience. Yeah. I don't want these what's coming up. I don't know what the fuck like. When Gunga Rama left India, he built a special suitcase so he could bring along his blank. Oh. What? You're not too bright, are you? There. <laughs> All right, everybody, ready over here. Let's see, uh, it's just Brett, Charles, and Mary Ann. Okay, Charles ready, all right. Now, Donald, we call on you. When Gunga Rama left India, he built a special suitcase so he could bring along his blank. A uh, snake. His snake. Yeah. He was a faker, apparently. Pass so, it. Brett, snake is the answer. Honey, I'm trying to make up for the way I treated you before. Snake. Oh. Oh, snake wins the game. Congratulations. Well done. Any other snakes? You had sacred cow. Yeah. All right. All he needed suitcase? was one to win it, and he That's did it. And now we've got to say goodbye to this pretty Linda Malloy and wish her the very best of luck in her modeling career. A gift waiting for you backstage. Goodbye, Linda. We'll get back to you in a moment or so, but first, we got this message we want to pass along to everybody, so stand by, okay?